All right, I'm really quickly going to show you how to inspect colors using Firebug, the Firefox browser plugin that we added, and then how to test colors on your, uh, on your own site uh, using the same plugin. So first, let's go uh, to a page where we really like colors. Let's try um, southwest.com. They've got this really interesting color palette that's like some blues and some oranges and other stuff. Then let's open a new tab. Let's go to our own site, the internet1.com, the class site. Oop, I had that open before. And let's just uh, let's just go to a page where I've got uh, some text. We go. We got some black text. We got some red text. Okay. So let's say I want all of my links, this sort of red in-text link, to show up as, I don't know, um, I don't know, maybe the southwest blue or something. There's actually two colors of blue here. There's the regular blue, and then there's the color of blue it turns when we mouse over it. You see that? So let's pick that apart. So I'm going to go up here to the fire bug. I'm going to click on it, which activates this plugin, and then I'm going to go down here to my little selector. I'm going to hover over something, and I'm going to click on it. Now, because I clicked on it in the selector, it doesn't actually activate that. It just gives me the piece of HTML that governs that little block and the things about it. So we've already got the style tab open here. And we're just going to start looking around for colors. Ooh, okay, there's a color. Not really sure. That might be the color that's, on, that's the layover. It's kind of light for me. So I'm going to go down. There's another one. There's probably some kind of like underlying color somewhere down here. If not, we'll just use, okay, then there's the black underneath. That's the black of the bar, because this is sitting on top of the bar. No, I think I like that first color I saw. Here it is, 2683F9. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy it. Uh, as I said before, every color on the internet has a unique hash like this. Uh, hash, in this case, 2683F9. I go back to my site and I say, I really want to see what that would look like if I had a different color in there. So, again, open up Firebug, go to my selector, click on the element. And this is simple, right there, D6 whatever. All right, so I'm going to just hit Control or Command V and paste in the color that I tried. And boom, there you go. It's affecting this link, it's affecting that link. So it looks like all the text links on my whole site are affected uh, by in this color, section header. Oh yeah, here it is. There's the A's for anchor text. So uh, that's what my site would look like if I changed my links to blue. Not too bad. But uh, when we do this later, we'll actually take this edit right here. We'll open up uh, FTP will find line 21 or 121 in the in the CSS file. We'll actually change that color in the CSS file. That way, even when folks aren't using Firebug or when you're not using Firebug, see there, I just went back to the page and they turned red again. Um, everyone out in the world on the internet will see your new pretty blue links or whatever color you want to change. Um, and as a little bonus, you can open up a couple of new tabs: DRI, BB, BLE. E.com, Dribble, or Color Lovers, spelled in the British way, C-O-L-O-U-R-L-O-V-E-R-S.com, there it is. These are sites that have people who've built palettes of colors that go together uh, that you could apply to your whole site. So, you know, here's, a, here's an interesting palette, that, and they include all the color hashes there for you. So you can, uh, you can pull this down and say, oh... Here's the, here's the hex code for that, here's the hex code for that, and you can add these colors to your site if you want just by knowing this number. That works for every site on the internet, and uh, you're going to be doing that on your site very shortly.